Hello, I'm Dr. Carolyn Semino. I'm a professionally certified educational therapist and a structured literacy dyslexia specialist. Welcome to this tutorial on rhythmic writing. First of all, what is NILD rhythmic writing? Rhythmic writing technique consists of tracing the figure eights, the infinity, and a combination of both. The technique also uses writing or drawing motifs to enhance the rhythmic therapeutic effect. This tutorial, however, covers just the figure eights. Why rhythmic writing? Rhythmic writing is a valuable cognitive and physical tool. It helps to develop hemispheric dominance and strengthens directionality concepts. When rhythmic writing is done faithfully at school and at home, a student usually makes significant improvement. Progress in therapy is slowed when rhythmic writing is done erratically. Rhythmic writing objectives. First of all, it improves visual motor integration. It establishes hemispheric specialization for language, develops the ability to do intermodal tasks. It also develops sensory integration and improves directionality. What you will need at home in order to do rhythmic writing is a chalkboard at least three by five, regular chalk, a chalk holder as shown. A whiteboard will work, but it's not recommended because it does not give enough friction to really enhance the technique. How often should rhythmic writing be done? To reach rhythmic writing's full therapeutic benefit, it should be done at least five times weekly. It can be done during the therapy session, each session, and it also can be done as assigned homework on days that there is no therapy session. Let's talk for just a moment and I'll demonstrate for you how to stand and how to use your body when doing rhythmic writing. First of all, you'll stand straight in a comfortable position, not too far from the board, centered in front of the eights. This is to encourage crossing of the midline. Next, your body and shoulders will be straight, keeping them parallel to the board without turning. Your feet keep slightly apart with your weight evenly balanced to maintain proper balance. Your knees keep them straight but not locked. Your hand, you'll hold your chalkboard in your dominant hand with the correct pencil grip. This is to encourage proper positioning of the forearm and the elbow. Your wrist, you'll keep straight in line with the forearm without twisting and your elbow you'll keep relaxed and lowered to encourage large arm movements. Use relaxed arm movement, pushing from the shoulder, keeping your elbow down. This initiates neurological stimulation with large shoulder movement. Your head, you will turn left to right following your arm and hand movement. Your voice, Speak clearly at appropriate level to encourage intermodal tasks. Thank you for watching this tutorial on NILD Rhythmic Writing. I hope that it's helpful to you as you continue to learn more about valuable learning technique.